Former Transport Minister S. Iswaran, who is facing multiple charges, including for corruption, returned to the state courts on March 25. He arrived at about 8.20 a.m. with members from his legal team from Devinder Singh Chambers. Speaking to media gathered outside the court, he said, Sorry you all had to get up so early this morning. As he walked towards the court, trailed by members of the media, one of them tripped and fell. Iswaran helped him pick up his belongings. Iswaran, 61, was charged at the state courts on January 18 and his case was later transferred to the High Court. A chamber's hearing was fixed for April 2. For the prosecution and the defence to exchange information ahead of the trial. Those who have ongoing High Court cases would have to return to the state courts if additional charges are filed against them. Iswaran currently faces a total of 27 charges, including two for corruption. The corruption charges relate to alleged bribes obtained from billionaire Ong Bang Sung as inducement for advancing the hotel and property tycoon's business interests in relation to agreements between Singapore GP and the Singapore Tourism Board. Mr Ong, who is chairman of race promoter Singapore GP, is credited with bringing the Formula One Grand Prix to Singapore. Iswaran also faces 24 counts under Section 165. He is the first reported person to be charged under the section. These charges are for allegedly obtaining, as a minister, items with a total value of more than $200,000 from Mr. Ong between November 2015 and December 2021. These items include tickets to the Singapore Grand Prix, football matches and musicals in Britain. Iswaran was also handed a charge of obstructing the course of justice for allegedly making repayment of $5,700 in May 2023 for the cost of a business class flight ticket that he purportedly took in 2022 at Mr. Ong's expense. Iswaran was elected in 1997 as an MP for West Coast GRC, where he served for 26 years. He was promoted to full minister in the Prime Minister's office in 2011. He resigned from the People's Action Party in January and stepped down as Transport Minister and West Coast GOC MP. Following his court appearance on January 18, Iswaran issued a statement declaring his innocence and said he will focus on clearing his name. He was granted $800,000 bail. He was allowed to leave Singapore from February 16 to March 4 to help his son settle in at a university in Melbourne. The prosecution imposed several conditions to this application, including an additional $500,000 bail and having to provide the investigation officer with his itinerary and his address overseas. ST had reported that during his trip, Iswaran was admitted to the private hospital, Cobrini Moven, for respiratory illness. He was advised by his doctor not to travel for 12 days following his discharge from the hospital in Melbourne on March 5. He returned to Singapore and surrendered his passport to the authorities, the Attorney General's chambers, said on March 20. On February 5, Minister in Charge of Trade Relations Grace Fu told Parliament the Singapore Tourism Board STB was conducting an audit of the 2022 edition of the Formula One Singapore Grand Prix following allegations of corruption against Iswaran. She said the Ministry of Trade and Industry was also reviewing the terms of the deal between STB and Singapore GP to organise the F1 night race here to safeguard Singapore's interests. For each corruption charge, he can be fined up to $100,000 jailed for up to seven years, or both. He can be fined, jailed for up to two years, or both, for obtaining valuable items from someone he had business dealings with as a public servant. For obstructing the course of justice, he can be jailed for up to seven years, fined, or both.